morning. My name is Elliot and we are here at Future Hall. Welcome to one of our UARC Home Live tours. Today we're going to give you a tour of Future Hall. Um, we're going to show you around some of the best places to see in Future Hall, the basement, the laundry room. Um, we're going to take you through one of the bathrooms and then we're going to show you one of the rooms. Looking forward to it. Oh, wow. So we're, uh, we're actually out in the courtyard area here and you hear the birds, there's uh, a truck's going by over here because this is a uh, is this this is garland yes, sir. garland that goes up to maple. So let me just give you a view of this very beautiful uh, courtyard area. I find it to be there's a huge magnolia tree right here. It is gigantic. Up and up and up. There we go. Man. Okay. And then kind of an area where you can sit and enjoy. There's a little fire pit right there. And how many stories is this? This is four stories. Four stories. Five okay. if you count the basement. Five if you count the basement. Okay, okay. Well, um, we got two people watching us right now, and let's go inside. All right, let's do it. All right. Thanks, sir. Now this door caught us when we when we went out last time. It'll talk to you, right? Yes, sir. It, you uh, won't open for too long. There you go. There it is. We got it. Okay, so. A little quirk here, be sure you push to exit before you exit and get out pretty quickly, right? Or else you might face plant, which I've done many times. Really? Many times. Ouch, I don't see it on your face. So no, that good. thing play it heal. Well, so this is our first place. This is the laundry room. Uh -huh. And so we have here. six different washers and six dryers um, and a little nice basin area. One of the nice things, so this year we got brand new washers and dryers, um, brand new system and everything. And actually, the cool thing is, over here you'll see these little QR codes. What you can do is they have a website you can go to and if you actually sync your phone up to it and scan this QR code, uh, you'll see how many washers are open, if anything's going on right now. Uh, and then also you can set a timer so when you put your stuff into the washer or dryer, it'll give you a notification saying, hey, your stuff's done, come down and grab it. So, Yeah, going. it's good to, good to be able to uh, be in class, get a text alert that says, hey, guess what? Your dryer's done, come pick me up. So that's not bad. And you'll notice also that none of these have any sort of coin exchanges or anything. Your room fees pay for all of the laundry services. Which is very nice. Be very careful you don't put too much detergent in it. I've seen places flooded because freshmen got a little too excited with the uh, laundry detergent. Well, let me ask you about your, your laundry game, man. Okay. Is it, uh, do you use the little uh, pills or do you use pods? Or do you use powder or what do you use? I typically use uh, the liquid detergent. Okay. I'm starting to get into the pods though. Um, if you use two of them, that's pretty safe. I've seen somebody think that they had a really big load and they put four in. Four pods. That's a no-go. Don't do that. No, that's too many pods. That's too many pods. But uh, be very careful, especially with the liquid detergent because it will go everywhere. We actually recommend at University Housing that you use the pods, but of course liquid will work as well. I think powder is a, is a no-go with it's us. Starting to, it's starting to move out. Yeah. So. Let's head on down. All right. All right. So the next thing that we're going to show you is the main common area. This is called the basement in Futural. Uh -huh. um, the basement just got newly renovated, I believe, last summer. Um, Where did I, you live, Elliot? My freshman year, I lived in Hots. Okay. So, but some of my best friends lived here, and we'd come hang out. Oh. And so since then, this place has been completely redone. I mean, all of this stuff, all of the new paint, the uh, the ping pong table, everything is very nice and color coded. Um, very excited atmosphere. But this is one of the best places to come hang out, come chill. We've got ping pong, we've got pool, we've got a really big flat screen TV over there. Let's go is, check it out. All right. Close to there. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to uh, add them, and we're happy to answer them. Okay, yeah, this that's a nice size TV and a nice pool table. Yes, sir. So this is the hangout spot for Futural. Mm -hmm. So this is personally my favorite part of Futural, just because of uh, the atmosphere, the fun uh, activities that you can have. We've got vending machines in the back, um, and one of the really awesome things about Futural, and especially in the basement, is this countertop area and it's like one of a kind at the university and so this was done many moons ago um, but if you look on the top it spells out U of A and hogs and this is like iconic. I never never noticed that yep wow okay yeah so U of A hogs that's really cool Wow. It's really cool just because this is where a lot of people can come study, come eat together. Um, this is like the social hub for Futural Hall. Nice, nice. So, pretty fun. 
Yeah, so do we want to hear there's a little place over here that we can go check out? For all the movie buffs out there, we, uh, we have a very nice movie room in Futural. Let's see if I can figure out. Oh, oh. that's not what we wanted. So the movie room, there we go. large screen TV, and we have, I believe, 15 recliner leather chairs in here. Uh, perfect for anybody who wants to stay up late and watch a couple movies. Um, very eclectic scene, very nice. Um, we've hung out a couple times in here. It's just really comfy, really nice chairs, and a great place for social bonding. Nice. Do they do they lean back? Yes, sir. Whew, okay. I don't so, know if I want to try that out. I might break one, but... Fabian says, go hogs. We agree. Go Woo hogs. Pig. Woo pig. <laughs> All right, and so on the other side of the basement, we have the kitchen area. Okay. And so the kitchen... I see a lot of people come through here and they get to uh, just hang out, cook dinner with their friends, um, prepare a nice meal, and then they usually bring it out here to this countertop and just have a good time and chill with everybody. Mm -hmm. But full-fledged kitchen, complete with stove, oven, um, got your own fridge and a microwave. Be sure you label your food in the fridge because people will steal it, especially mm. your ice cream. I lost <laughs> many tubs of ice cream. Be warned, ice cream goes fast. Yes, it unless does. Unless you put your name on it. And even then, if you do, just be careful. Oh, yeah. that's a pro tip right there. Pro tip right there. But okay. yeah, this is a fun area. Um, and you, if, any, if you need any sort of utensils or anything like that, you can check them out at the front desk. The RA on duty will happily let you have something. You just got to trade in your ID for it. Okay, great. So this is the basement area in Futural. Mm -hmm. And I believe next we're going to go upstairs. Going upstairs. Check that out. We'll show you the patio area outside, answer any questions that y'all have. So where are you from? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay. Which is our biggest central city. Yes, sir. And uh, high school down there and everything? Yes, sir. Arkansas Baptist. Okay. Right on. Right on. Alright, so right up here. This is the main entrance of Futural. Oh, yeah. And so, in order to get in, everything's completely secure. You have to have a unique fob just to get into the building. It's mm -hmm. programmed so that only future residents can get inside of future. This is the patio area. This is an awesome place for just chill, quiet times. If you're studying, if you want to be outside, this is the per perfect place to be. If you have a bike, which I highly recommend for getting around campus, we've got bike racks for you to have to for storage and stuff. Absolutely. And our greenway, if you... Uh know about that is a great way to get around the community and you can just jump on there with your bike and take off anywhere you want to go yes sir and so future hall pretty pretty nice location here on campus it's on the north side of campus mm -hmm. if you look over there that building right there past across the street that is the bookstore over there um, really just right across the street from the bookstore it's also the garland retail chain section so you got subway you have the it's brand new it's called the wellness center mm -hmm. um, if you need a little mental Rehabilitation from the stressful semester, you can go there and just Offered hang Offered by Pat Walker Health Center. Right, right. And then we're also very proud of Small Mart, which is the world's smallest Walmart, also located <laughs> in the Garland Retail Center. They pack a lot of things in there. Yeah. I, I walk through there and there's just an, I mean, a lot of items in a very small space. You wouldn't, I mean, you can get produce, you can get any sort of medicine that you need. I mean, it's great. It's, yeah. We're proud of it. Um, and then right across the street on the other side is the uh, quad. Yeah, the quad hall is in this direction with Fulbright Dining. Yes, so sir. really you're only about a block or so from the dining office. Maybe a two or three minute walk. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So we'll head back inside. All right. And feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Happy to answer them for you. Thank you, sir. We have an alumni of, uh, of uh, Futural tuning in right now. <laughs> All right. All right so, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right. So this is the upper social area. Um, this is called the piano room. Great for studying. As you can see, there's a very large uh, whiteboard that you can use. Um, a lot of the people here at the Future Hall, we have the uh, agriculture and pre-med living learning communities. So you pre-med students, any biology or chemistry, that's really handy to have with you. Um, we also have a piano in here. I've heard people playing the piano anywhere from eight at night till one in the morning. So like chopsticks or something a little more. A little more, a okay. little more than just chopsticks. Okay. Um, brand new furniture in here. This uh, we just got these. Really nice, really comfy, and you can move them around, which is very handy. That is nice. We were talking about the uh, was it the Futural Flames? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
So you want to show me? I would love to. We can, so, go, we can go down here. You want right, to go? Because there are two trophy cases right. in Futural because it's a long and storied history about them winning things. A lot of winners. Oh yeah. Uh, the other part is the social area right oh, yeah. here. We have a sure. little like dining area slash just hangout spot. Um, this TV, honestly, is one of the best TVs on campus to watch any basketball or football games. That's if you solid. don't feel like going to them, this is perfect right here. That is a huge TV. I think it's a 70 inch TV. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice. There's also a lot of, for anybody who's into uh, Super Smash Bros, they'll hook up Super Smash Bros on there and play till all hours <laughs> of the night. That's pretty fun. But like we mentioned, the Future Flames. So, Future Hall has always been really big into intramural sports. And so, with that, um, they have a pretty rich history of being winners. And so, what they've done is they've made these trophy cases to show off all of their, uh, their trophies and ribbons and whatnot that they've won over the years. And when we go back all the way to 1973, I think there's a 1964 in there somewhere. I think I saw a 1964 in there earlier, too. We have anything from fencing to, I don't know that we have fencing anymore, uh, but tennis, basketball, football, I mean, they've got it all. And just, just a ton least, of trophies. There's like what? 50, 60 trophies in here? Yeah. yeah. So if you're into intramurals, this is the place to be for sure. <laughs> and there was that one, I actually liked the detail on this. It was a women's archery competition, and it's got kind of a half moon on it. I just wanted to note, I think that's really a cool looking trophy. Yeah. yeah pretty cool. And so the Future Flames have been here for 30, 40 years by now. Fantastic. So now what we're getting into, this is more of the, uh, the administrative side of things. Yeah. So these are the old mailboxes and they don't actually, they're here for aesthetic purposes. They don't actually hold mail. What happened is they're actually, all of your mail for Futural is going to be through the Northwest Quad. Um, they have all sorts of mail set up in there. And so what you'll do, you just walk over, if you get a package, the front desk over there will be able to help you out. Miss Jerry is awesome and she'll be able to get you situated. But these are pretty cool. They kept them in there just because they're really uh, just antique, very rustic looking things. Um, pretty fun mm -hmm. to have around. Right over here, we have the front desk area. And so this is where you'll be able to check out any sort of equipment. And we have pool sticks, ping pong, um, like I said earlier, the kitchen equipment. Anything you need is right back here. Um, I believe during the week, somebody will be stationed here until 10 p.m. every night. And on the weekends, it's 12 p.m., 12 a.m., mm -hmm. sorry. Um, but if you need anything, come here. Someone will be able to help you out if you have any questions or anything like that. Sure. And then if it is closed, you've always got contact information you can use to... Um, call the RA on duty. Call the RA on duty. Right. Great. All right. So we're going to the living area now. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. So we had, we'll show you a bathroom first. What do you, uh, what do you major in? I am a finance major. Really? Tell me about that. What's that about? So... I actually came here and on orientation day, I was supposed to be a mechanical engineering major mm -hmm. and uh, when they stood up for engineering to leave, I stayed sitting in my parents like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know, we're trying something out. So we went ahead <laughs> and uh, I went with business and I've loved it ever since. And so I'm a finance major, about to be a junior. Yeah. Oh, really cool. So this so we're... is the bathroom area. Yeah. And there's two of these on every floor. Um, we have showers down this way. And so we have, I believe, four showers down here, and we have stalls and restrooms over here with all these sinks lined up. Um, the way it works is the, the floors are broken down by gender. So mm -hmm. the first floor will be guys, second will be girls, and so on and so forth. Um, Big wall of mirrors. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We go ahead and go in the shower just so people can get a sense of what you got there. And there's four of them on each. Right. In each bathroom, but there's two bathrooms there's on each two floor. two bathrooms on each floor. So you so actually have eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so right through here, yeah. this so is the kind standard of walking room. area. You can walk in there. The and, drip dry area. Yep. And then you go inside and you got, you know, all the space you have. And uh, yeah, so there's your shower. Perfect. But it's nice to have that kind of front area, I think, to get dressed and you have right. a bench there to kind of sit down. Give you a little more space to move around with. Yeah, yeah. And this would be a community, an example of a community hall right. that we have where bathrooms are shared. Uh, and you lived in a traditional community style, or yes, you sir. lived in a you lived in yeah, not the style. I lived style. in Hots. Yes, yeah. sir. So what do you what do you think of the differences between a community style and a and a suite style as far as like um, 
I guess you end up seeing people more right. often sometimes. So the way it works, freshman year I lived in Hots. Mm -hmm. um, my last year, last year here, I was an RA in Maple West, so mm -hmm. sweet style. Um, and so I've gotten to see both sides of things, yeah. both sides of the coin. I love the traditional style community stuff just because you get to be around people all the time. Um, with the community or with the sweet style, you miss out on the social interactions like the bathroom. You wouldn't think mm -hmm. of it, but this is a social hub just because you're seeing people all the time. Right. Um, I like community just a little bit more just because there's so many more opportunities to make friends, um, more social places to hang out in, um, but it's a fun time. Yeah. And I mean, you know, having a bathroom in your, in your hall is not a bad thing. Either. Right. Yeah. Sure. You can't it's really that, about, but... what about making it right for you and what right. your choice is and what you want. Exactly. But, but certainly one shouldn't discount the community style. Not at all. All right. So let's head on out. All right. So. We're going to walk down the hallway here. They have water fountains on each hallway, so if you look down, there's two corridors. Yeah, and go so ahead and give them a picture of that. Each corridor, has, so on this on the other side of the bathroom is the same thing, just different numbers. Um, there's a water fountain on each side, and so you'll never get dehydrated, trust me. And then this... And this room that we're going into is one of our showrooms. That is, it's always part of the tours that we give here. Right. And we offer tours through admissions. Um, I think almost every weekday, mm -hmm. multiple times. Did you do some of those tours for us? A couple of them. Okay. I did, I could, a couple in HOTS, never in Futural, but we're going to see how I do today. Sure. No, you're doing great. Let's, uh, and so that's why you see all these placards here, these little signs that say Living Green. We've tried to stage this room to show off some sustainability initiatives that we're doing. Right. But, uh, yeah, so we're in the room now. We are in And we are happy to take measurements or tell you more about the room. Let me see if I can't give, give people a pretty good perspective by coming out here a little bit and sort of trying to show. We'll see if we can give some more pro tips. So yeah. each person gets these beds, uh, pretty standard bed frames. Um, something to note is that one of these mattresses is longer than the other by I think about five inches. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're the short person, do your tall buddy a favor and grab the shorter one um, or else you'll hear about it all year long. <laughs> but what you can do is if you'll look, there's another set down here and what you'll do is you can get some connecting pieces and you can actually loft your bed up to about right here. Yeah. Uh, if you roll in your sleep, I suggest not doing that because that's what my freshman roommate did and he plummeted. He's okay. Um, well, we do have safety uh, stabilizer bars right. too, security guards. Security if you guards. need it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Guardrails. But that's what I did. So what you can do, what I did freshman year, I lofted my bed and I put my desk under that, freed up a lot of extra space in here, which was very nice. But each person, what you get when you come in here, you get the bed with the mattress, um, you get your own desk with the court board, which is really nice. It's mm -hmm. got a built-in light so that for any late night studying that you might be doing. Um, really good chair. Um, and each person gets their own set of drawers here. And mm -hmm. also this, uh, what do you say, chest of drawers or dresser. Or dresser. There yeah. we go. Thank you. Um, and, and then so, you got the shelf too. Oh no, that's part of the desk. Right. Gotcha. So, but extra storage space, and then each person gets one of these armoires. And so, yeah. if we open this up, up for us, we've got plenty of storage. These little metal bars can come out. Don't oh. lose these. But <laughs> if I lost mine, there's probably a little little charge or something. For just that a little bit. Them. But yeah. you also have a locking drawer down here that you can oh. use, which is very nice. Um, and then you also one of the nice things is. You, each room has its own individual air conditioning set. So mm -hmm. what you'll do, here's the AC unit. Um, if you like it colder than your friend's room, that's perfectly fine. You just find the thermostat, turn it down however you want. To an, to an extent. Mm -hmm. Where is the thermostat in here? The there? thermostat is up there. Up there and it, it functions, huh? It, it does, it does indeed. Okay. Typically they're more down here towards the, uh, the light switch area. Right. But this, just because of the showcase purpose, I think that one's up there. Mm -hmm. um, but pretty standard room, the way it works, and you can find all these measurements online if you go to housing.uark.edu and go to campus communities and click on Futural. Um, what you can do is find every single piece of furniture's measurements on there. Um, I believe the desk is about four feet long, two, three feet deep, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have any questions and you want exact measurements, you're more than welcome to go online or you can ask us here. We'll happily tape everything out for you. Elliot, you said you lofted your bed, right? I didn't. What did you put underneath? How did you use that space? So, like I said, what I did, I lofted mine um, and I moved my desk over here. Mm -hmm. And I believe, what else did I do? I put... Uh, you put your desk under the bed. I put my desk under the bed. Oh, so that okay. opened up all of this space right here 
and it was perfect for anything else we wanted to do. And I also moved, I believe, my dresser under there, if I remember correctly. I think everything, and it works out perfectly, like it fits just right. You might have to squeeze it just a little bit, but everything fits perfectly under it. You put your dresser underneath the lofted bed, mm -hmm. huh? Wow, okay. And so all the space then opened up. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Well, um, <clears throat> now is the perfect time to chime in with any questions you might have or measurements that you'd like. I think typically what we've seen is that there are 36 inches um, on the lofted area. And just to explain the lofting again, it goes, you can put those in those little little things right there and then you uh, attach the top one there. And that's something we can do for you here at housing or something you're welcome to do yourself if you bring a rubber mallet, it makes it easier. Um, the uh, refrigerator and microwave do not come standard with the room. Okay, yeah, so this refrigerator and microwave are here because we've, we've sort of staged this room to right. show um, how you can be more green if you're living with us at the University of Arkansas. But if you do need a micro something just like this, I believe the price is $89 for the year. It's really handy. They'll wheel it in before you get here, and at the end of it, they'll just take it back. Right. All right, you the rental rent system. Rent mm -hmm. yeah. And you can find the information about renting uh, at movein.uark.edu, uh, and then under what to bring, mm -hmm. there's a little area that talks about renting these. And feel free to use that. We encourage right. you to have a refrigerator if you want it. It's very handy. Yes. Very handy. So unless there's any other questions coming in, we're probably going to sign off. Um, but let me just, we'll give them a second to see if there's anything, any other questions people want us to answer. Now we have Elliot here to <laughs> find out things for us. Okay, well, thank you everybody for joining us. And Elliot, thank you for joining our tour. My and, pleasure. Uh, you can say, you can sign us off with all the good folks out there in internet land. All right, well, thank you for joining us. And if you have any questions at all, please let us know. Thank you all.